Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Saints gaming stream. I am Matthias, also known as Matthias, and I'm joined by Theo the Holy Juan. And how are you doing tonight? Doing good today. We have a Rocket League doubleheader on our hands, and it's going to be our Academy team, who we haven't seen too much of uh, this semester. It's going to be a fun show today. It's going to be very fun here in the NACE Rocket League doubleheader. Of course, our first opponent for today is going to be Harrisburg University. It's going to be their JV team coming up first. And then, after all that is said and done, we have West Virginia University, their Lotus team, up next, going up against the Saints. The Saints are currently sitting at a 4-1 run in this tournament, but Harrisburg University, usually a big name name, is not having as much success on their JV team. They are currently 0 and 5. Yeah, their JV team has been uh, struggling this semester from the look. Looking at the numbers in our Saints, we spoke to them pre-game. They sounded very confident going into this first matchup. But then the second match of the day, they're going up against a team who's also 4-1. and one, And they felt very confident about that matchup as well. So hopefully our Saints can get the 2-0 sweep on the day today and move to 6-1 and one on the season. Yeah, they're going in cold, so you never know. There's always room for upsets. But enough from us. Let's throw it over to the players themselves. We have Dan on the scene soon enough. But if you're going to get my take on it, the pride always comes before the fall. You can't go in too confident. You have to stay focused. You have to always try your best because they did get a game on the team that beat the Saints. It was the JMU yeah. Dukes made Saints lose their one game. So with all that being said, we're going to have to see what the players have for themselves. I have to say. All right, Saints Nation, welcome. We got ourselves yet another day of fantastic NACE Star, or NACE Star League. That's, that's a throwback. This is just NACE. This is some NACE Rocket League action coming up here, and we have ourselves the treat of being able to see some Varsity Plus action for the first time in a little while with our Rocket League Academy squad. And alongside me here today, for the first time on the mic on the camera, we've got Fatal joining me indeed, here. Indeed, indeed. Good to have you, good to have you. Now, as of right now, taking a look at the standings, um, you are basically, I believe, either tied for first or basically leading the division and had a couple of tough masters it looks like but overall a relatively positive season how does it feel to be a saint in the first place oh man it's awesome i love being at the school uh, all my friends here, all the teammates, they're all awesome. It's just such an awesome community and it's positive. It's awesome. Hey, that's what we like to hear. I'm glad it's just as much about the community and not just strictly about the game. But again, what we love to see. But granted, of course, throughout the season wasn't necessarily like completely smooth sailing. For the most part, I believe it was either one or two games did end up getting dropped. But um, in those times, because the Academy squad had a little bit of a moving roster kind of to start things off but over the last couple of weeks something just seems to have clicked um what like what's just been going right and what basically um in those in those times of hardship what did you just have to do to kind of come back from it i know a little bit of a two-parter but uh, i feel like our main issue as a team was kind of our mental fortitude as well as just it was the first time because we were like you mentioned we were constantly switching rosters and now we've kind of firmly we have a firm roster mm -hmm. set so we've been sort of just working on stuff. And originally, like I said, it was our mental fortitude. But that's the main thing we've been working on. And as of late, it just we keep <laughs> progressing and progressing as our mental fortitude goes up. So it's good. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And then also, one thing that just came to my mind as well, in terms of like competitive, like playing esports competitively, is this your first stint in anything sort of competitively at all? Yeah, it is. First it is. time. Okay, so like kind of getting thrown into the, the hot seat a little bit, but I mean, you have been doing fantastic here so far. But before we do throw it to the, uh, or let, before I let you get back onto the pitch here, of course, we have a bit of a two-parter today, starting things off, of course, with Harrisburg University, which in the past in other esports has been one of those ones that uh, we get a little bit nervous with because we know it's going to be a tough squad. However, this is one of their JV roster, but I mean, don't sleep on them. Don't get me wrong, but 0-5. Yeah. I how confident are you, are you going into this one? Is there anything that we should uh, keep in mind or like what's on your mind going into this one? Well, we didn't have a warm up scrim, so this is gonna be a warm up. So oh, we're going in cold, but um, <laughs> I'm confident with this. As you said, they're on five, so uh, we should be able to take this stub here. I was gonna say, it was extremely easy to pull you over for a uh, for an interview and the fact there was no warm up scrim that makes a lot more sense now in my mind why you're immediately available. But um, I know it's a little bit later on as well, but of course West Virginia is the second matchup coming in and that's one of those teams that are actually gonna be giving us a run for our money. Yeah, How are you feeling indeed. going into that one? 
Well, hopefully the, uh, we get a good warm-up in, and I think we can beat them. We scrimmed them before, and we were able to beat them in most of the matches, so... All right, now I said I, it continues. Now I said I wasn't going to do this, but I mean, with the way that we're, we're feeling, we're feeling pretty confident here. So what, 3-0 and a handshake? Yeah. All right. That's it. 3-0. So that's definitely the prediction. We'll have to see if that makes true on the field. I'll let you get to the field, get a quick warm-up in before we hop in the lobby. Thank you, Fatal, Thank you for joining much. us. Looking forward to competing, or not competing, but uh, watching you compete. Thank you very much. All right. We'll throw it back to the caster desk in just a second. Quick warm up for Fatal and that team. That's what they're feeling going into this. Let's see if that holds true and see what they can learn from this match. Because if there's any time for them to win, Harrisburg to win, it's now when the Saints are overconfident and maybe ready to have a game they're not expecting on their hands. I mean, Saints are confident for a reason. Uh, the only match they lost this season, it was a 3-2, a very, very close, close matchup. But other than that, they've looked relatively strong. And Harrisburg, JV on the flip side, they've been struggling just to take games of teams. It is going to be best of five series for us today. So we're going to get at least three games. But, you know, I would not be surprised if uh, maybe see a couple extra extra games there, maybe Saints want to try out something new, uh, something different. But usually in a game like Rocket League, you kind of have a certain game plan that you follow. You have certain rotations, certain things that will be a reoccurring pattern. So hopefully our Saints can stick to their game plan and play good Rocket League today. I mean, that's what you always hope for. And they've had a really good run of it so far. So I think... They're very correct in their confidence here. But the thing you really got to be worrying about is the game after this one. This one should theoretically be a 3-0. You can't let your guard down. But you got to have your guard up for sure for this next coming game. I mean, they said, uh, you heard Fatal say, it, they're expecting 3-0. They've played them in scrims, as we heard. They are feeling very confident about the, their matchup against their opponents. And, you know, both teams 4-1. and one, Probably both teams going to be 5-1 and one by the time that match happens. Just looking at pattern recognition. And <laughs> it's going to be a very, very important match. You know, they, both teams want to set themselves at the top of the table, be at the top of the league, and I think that matchup will be a very, very important one for both teams. It should be a very important one. And one thing I'm excited to see is this team. We haven't seen them on stream yet before. Neither of us have casted them. So it should be very interesting to see how it all shakes out. I like to see the different team dynamics. And the team we've cast the most as of re recently is from Europe, right? The green team. Uh, they've had a lot of success so far, but now this academy team, I believe most of them are from NA. So It'll be exciting to see the different gameplay styles. Yeah, and like this past weekend, we were watching both our green and gold team play in uh, in the biggest tournament of it all, the OCS. And unfortunately, none of them made it to day two, but we saw absolute peak Rocket League, the highest of the high levels. And I just hope that our academy team has been learning from some of the best players in in the country, in the world, uh, from our gold and green team. And hopefully they can use some things they learned from them in their own gameplay. Exactly. You got to hope that you can bring everything you can. And one thing I'm excited to also see is the choice of cars. You know? <laughs> it's always usual, you know, the typical ones. But I'm wondering if maybe this team on the losing streak over on Harrisburg has something they're trying out. Maybe they're trying something brand new. Maybe they're using Lightning McQueen. Like and that's McQueen. where it's all going wrong, but maybe it'll be right this time. I mean, the choice of cars, you know, could make a difference, maybe mentally speaking, for maybe, maybe. either team. So, as you said, maybe seeing some Lightning McQueen, some cyber trucks maybe thrown in there for <laughs> the wider wider area, area so you're able to hit the ball easier. Uh, but the ball, it might just break, though, if it hits that ball. What if we see, like, an 18-wheeler just that flying off the top ropes? <laughs> I'm excited for that one, the Optimus Prime car, you know, it's a giant I mean, truck. I, I feel like that would be a fun idea to add to Rocket League, give everybody on the field an 18-wheeler, make it like a limit time game that's mode. the tank that's the main tank let mode. everyone just have fun <laughs> like i feel like that would be a blast but we're gonna be getting into game uh, relatively soon we haven't made our predictions yet we did say they exactly. were gonna win but let's just make a few quick predictions before the match starts first one's easy that one's gonna be a 3-0 i think we can both agree on that fact but going into that second game against western <laughs> west virginia university lotus both four and one that one is going to be a little bit closer. They still said it's going to be 3-0. That's what they said. Yep. The guys on the stage, Pedro, Fatal, everybody, Spoods, they're all feeling very confident. 
but do you agree with that? I mean, I agree with the confidence, but I will give the enemy team a benefit of the doubt. I'll give them one game, Saints 3-1s. Give me my prediction for that second matchup. This first matchup, I'm on the same page as you, and it feels like everybody else in the Saints sphere. 3-0 for the Saints. Hopefully they can make it nice and quick and, you know, spoods. Has been a has been a player here for quite a some a time. Definitely the veteran on this team. It's going to be interesting to see how the team has uh, developed around his veteran presence. Yeah, we're seeing some coughs right now, though. It's cold in the flu season. You got to be <laughs> wondering, is. maybe is that going to play a factor? You know, you cough at the wrong time, you sneeze <laughs> at the wrong time, and you miss you miss a goal, you miss I a mean, save. That could change the game. So if there's any time for Harrisburg University JV to win, the time is now but that's enough from us let's get right into the game yeah we will be heading into game saints on the blue side harrisburg on there it's gonna be ben fatal and true off against game night mid safe and futuristic harrisburg starting off pretty strong getting deep into the saints territory but it's great defense on the saints true come left out ball fatal it's gonna have that 50 it's a dangerous position but the clearance will be there Let's see how else they decide to play this cleared out again. Game night though, a nice position. Looks for a pass off the back of the net. It's going to be cleared out by the Saints. A strong defense to start off this matchup. A beautifully strong defense. A demo from Spoods over there. That's going to be Ben. Now gets blocked out once again. And Harrisburg, sure, it may be 0 and 5 on the scoreboard, but like some of these games were pretty competitive, oh, especially goal. with how things are going right now. Harrisburg JV getting the first goal. Futuristic finds the finish there. Mincy gets a nice pass and a nice touch there from one to the other. There was a demo in there as well that was crucial. And as you said, at Harrisburg starting off out the gates hot and get the first goal. I mean, that's the danger academy team on St. Clair. They said they went in cold, no warm up, no scrims, nothing. So it's just goes to show you definitely need to get your stretches in before you go hog wild as they are right now. They're starting to amp up that offense, though you can definitely tell they're anxious to get a goal soon. Yeah, I mean, they are going to be putting on the pressure now. Balls right in front of the net of Harrisburg's goal. It's going to be cleared out now. True has to defend this one. Will be able to do so. It's a nice 50 there and gets a nice little touch there. Pass it over to Ben, but that... Nice little bump, leaves the ball over to Fatal, who's gonna pass it into the corner. Can the Saints get any play going here? Ben looked for it there, but there's a save and it's a wide open net for Harrisburg. That's gonna be a second goal as they take a swift to the zero lead. Yeah, that's gonna be a big lead as well. They're getting about a goal a minute here, or a little more. Now, I don't know, if you're St. Clair, you gotta start worrying. I think you might have underestimated your opponents. I mean, I must agree with you. If this is a team that's 0-5, I mean, this division must be absolutely stacked. Harrisburg is playing amazingly out of the gates here. Saints have kind of just fallen apart on the defensive end, allowing a few pretty easy goals to slip through that maybe they won't allow for the rest of this series. As should be able to pick up on what's going wrong here. Now it's going to be them on the attack. They get a ball off the back, a chance there, but a missed opportunity for the Saints. Just off line there. Now it's going to be them taking the ball back into their half. True, trying to take it around his defender, but won't be able to do so. Fatal though gets a shot on target. It's an easy save for Mincy Saints. You to get a couple goals to get back into this game, but it's Harrisburg who are still pushing on the attack. Still pushing and still keeping this very in game. This game very much in their hands. And now another oh. offensive and another goal. What is happening here? This is an absolute turnaround from what the expectations were put upon them. You know, maybe we shouldn't have thought that <laughs> it was going to be so easy for the Saints. I mean, maybe there's something to this that we didn't know about. Maybe one of the players was sick for like five season, weeks or something. I mean, you were talking about it, the flu season. Could that be a <laughs> reason? I doubt that's the reason. I think Harrisburg is definitely playing better right now. Give them their flowers. And they found a couple goals from beyond half where Saints just have no defenders back. This time, Fatal will be back and no more Fatal mistakes. It's how the Saints need to be thinking. Three goals down. They haven't found much offense either, but there we go. They find one shot oh, off the post, but the follow-up is, is there from Fatal. That's what you like to see from the Saints. Beautiful team play. Nice little pass from one to the other. And even though the initial shot misses, Fatal is there for the follow-up. If Saints can keep this up, they'll be right back in this game. 
We'll be right back into the swing of things in no time at all. But I shouldn't say no time. They have two minutes to get back into the swing of things. It's not a lot <laughs> of time. It's not a lot of time, but as long as they can keep pace with Harrisburg, they can bring this to a tie or maybe even an overtime. And now, let's see. I don't think this seems going to be having a good time here, but they're doing a very good offense here. Ooh. Game Knight gets a beautiful save. Almost a great opportunity there for the Saints, but nice save coming out from Harrisburg. Doesn't lead too much for the Saints. You can see Harrisburg playing defense. That's a very dangerous point to just touch the ball. Ben's just going to leave that one up there. Harrisburg do get rid of it, and they're just holding on to their lead. Is there going to be a shot on target here from True? No, there won't be another clearance from Harrisburg, but you could definitely see the Saints putting on a lot more pressure now on the attack. Ben with a nice touch there. The follow-ups off the crossbar. Almost another goal for the Saints here as now they've ramped it up to another tier. Here's True looking for a pass over to Ben. Ben passes it back into the middle. Fatal's there. What a save from Game Night though to keep it a two goal game. That was another great opportunity created by the Saints and here's one more. There is a goal scored by True. Great job from the Saints keeping up the aggression. Ben making all of the plays happen here. Takes around the whole defense. Just leaves a run from the net. Saints are just one goal behind. Exactly. One goal behind, one minute left on the clock. All the rest of that time can be spent just trying to get this one last goal, even the odds. And then you, you have all the overtime to play with. The name of the game right now for Harrisburg is to just get one more goal on the board and try and prevent the Saints from getting back into this thing. Oh. With Ben doing beautiful air carries such as that, it's going to be very tough. Oh, the shot's just off target from Fatal there, right off the side of the post. You could definitely see Saints have warmed up now. They've just been putting on shot after shot. Harrisburg hasn't gotten much on their side here, as it's just been in there half the entire time. But Saints need to go in the next 30 seconds if they want a chance at winning this game. Harrisburg can hold on. It'll definitely be a good start to the series for them. Ben finds that touch here. True gets a nice demo, which is going to give Saints a lot of room to work with. That touch on the ground isn't the best. True forced to clear it out. And now Harrisburg have the ball exactly where they wanted to right in front of the Saints net but they need to be careful not to overcommit. here's true he's gonna take it around his defender puts a shot it's just off target but there's the follow-up Ben with eight seconds left finds the finish and that's the goal the Saints needed so badly Harrisburg getting a bit too confident there, getting way too far up and it's beautiful team play from the Saints to tie it up at three absolutely beautiful play from the Saints eight seconds left could all be solved in a kickoff, though, for Harrisburg if things go their way, and it does go their way. It's going to be absolutely stressful for the Saints. They need to play a beautiful defense to secure this overtime. The last second on the clock is going to hit the ground, and already in a game the Saints were so sure was going to go their way, we're having an overtime. I mean, it went from a really bad for the Saints to a winnable situation. Going for the one-on-one -on -one there, Fatal doesn't find the goal, but does find Mitzi. True, though, misses the ball there, which is going to force Saints to have a little bit of a reset here. Here, pick up some booster packs. There's the save coming up from True. Gets around the defender. Pass it over to Ben. Ben now might look for the play on himself. Gives it over to Fatal who takes it around his defender. Pass it off the back and beautiful solo goal there by Fatal. Gives the Saints game one from down 3-0 to scoring four in a row. I think all the momentum is now in their favor. Momentum's in their favor and now it should go their way. You gotta be wondering if Harrisburg has the mental to withstand such a close loss i mean they played really really well but it's all about maintaining that that momentum and yeah. now it's all in the saints favor yeah i mean harrisburg had a 3-0 lead we were both thinking oh no what's going on here the saints are falling apart but you can see thumbs up smiles on the side of the saints they managed to come back from being three goals down and winning 4-3 i mean that's a huge swing momentum saints even if they lost the game i think they still would have felt pretty confident by harrisburg now Losing all season, so you start off hot against one of the best teams in the league and then just cannot close out a three-goal lead. That must be devastating. Yeah, it's got to be a little bit, <laughs> quite a bit devastating there. But now I think the Saints with the momentum going on the positive side there, they're going to take this one home. I think they're going to get that 3-0 that they needed. I mean, a lot of the Saints teams, a lot of teams in general, are just based purely off momentum. If they can't get the wins that they need early on, it's really hard for them 
to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, and Harrisburg, uh, their goals were just kind of mistakes from the Saints, I want to say. Like, just they're full, all early on. Yeah, all early on, just easy shots from like three quarter field, which probably shouldn't be going in. You can see as soon as the Saints figure it out, that Harrisburg's only real attacking opportunities. They kept a defender back, and then on the offensive side of things, Saints did a beautiful job of scoring three. There was a shot on target from Futuristic True. Able to find that save. Harrisburg yet again starting off. In the first few minutes, very, very strong, trying to find something, an early goal against the Saints, but it looks like Fatal will have a shot lined up, takes it over the defender, takes it over two defenders, Fatal, wow. yet again, a beautiful solo goal, as Harrisburg just have no answer for the aerial play. No answer at all, that is going to be a blank on the multiple of choice, maybe circle one or two, but not all of them here, as they can't really find anything. Now, 1-0. The Saints finally are in the leading position. That's when you should see these Rocket teams go. Yeah, I mean, they get off to the hot start. Now it's five unanswered goals in the series for the Saints. And Harrisburg is not having the best of times, but still plenty of time to get back into this one. There's a dangerous opportunity. True, though, is there for the defense. And now in the air, True trying to take it around the whole defense and does so. But there is Mitzi with a beautiful save, making sure the Saints don't expand their lead. But still, Fatal keeps on pushing. Ben going to have a shot on target. No, that was a pass across the field. Nobody was there for the Saints. They need a little bit of reset to get some boost. But now they have all the boost they could ever want. Let's see how they prepare this next attack. Got to play a prepare with defense, though, here as Harrisburg's getting dangerously close to that goal and it's wide open, but there it is. Prepping the attack already. They are going all out on the offense. The double dribble off the top. Fatal getting the back-to-back -back goal. And I just want to take a quick look at the goalkeeper here for the side of Harrisburg. Just kind of sitting in that net. Didn't make too much of an attempt to save that one, but Fatal yet again in the air has just been unstoppable, and Harrisburg just seemed to have no answer. At all. Now, Ben going on the offensive. Spoons wants some of this party, getting a demo out of it, even if not getting the best shot on the goal. But hey, game night, going for an absolutely amazing blitz, but getting messed up there. Yeah, a one man army, but here is a one man army. Fatal gets it over to True. Harrisburg have completely fallen apart here. Nobody even close to the net. A nice demo there leads to a very, very easy goal for the side of the Saints. Beautiful goal, 3-0, and we're not even two minutes in. We're beating that minute per goal rate right now. We'll see if Harrisburg can get some of that magic they had in the first game back into their hands. Look for an air carry, which is going to get denied by the Saints. It's in the corner here, and needs to get cleared by True. Gets it out, but gets disrupted, and a beautiful oh. shot on the goal gets saved by True. And you can see the Saints' defensive intensity has picked up drastically since game one. They are not allowing anything to go in, as there's going to be another shot on target from Fatal. Game night is there for the save. And now it's going to be Harrisburg starting their own attack. But True shuts that one down pretty quickly. And it just feels like Harrisburgers always beat to the ball. Saints have their place drawn up. And Harrisburg just can't find anything to go in their favor. Is it drawn up, drawn out, and ready to be executed here. Here it is going up the field with Mincy. Going to try and play the lone defender here with a demo. That's going to be wide open. Respawn comes in, doesn't quite hit its mark. Nevertheless, that's a lot of pressure and stress on Harrisburg. Let's see if the Saints can exploit that. Now it's jumping back and forth. Air carry coming up from Spoons. Ben himself going oh for a beautiful goal. God. Just barely missed it. Harrisburg now down 4-0. I mean, Harrisburg just cannot compete with the Saints on the aerial attacks. I feel like every time Saints get this one-on-one -on -one opportunity flying through the air, even a one-on-two, Harrisburg just miss time after time, and that has been, I would say, their biggest demise in the series so far. I have to agree with you there, Theo. Not looking great. It's hard to find some footing here, but nevertheless, going to try, try their best to keep themselves in this. I mean, look at that offense. They just can't find a way through the Saints, and definitely they said they didn't have a warm-up game. I think that last game was their warm-up game because they are on fire now. Yeah, it's going to be an opportunity from Harrisburg right here. They can get one goal. Maybe that can get their minds right maybe for the next game because 4-0 with a minute 30. Very improbable. 
for them to be winning this game, but they will still try. There's going to be a couple of nice touches from Harrisburg. Can't they get any offense going? That's a nice tap into the middle. Almost a shot on target there. Ben playing a wonderful defense as Game Night tries to battle for that 50. Ben loses it to Futuristic. Fatal going to try and reset it back here. Start up another slow attack, but that's a nice ball into the middle. But nobody from Harrisburg is here in time to put in the finish. As I say that, though, Game Night wow. takes it around his defender and finds the finish for Harrisburg's first goal of the game. I gotta say, I think Game Night is Harrisburg's star player going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Saints. I mean, not to, put, <laughs> to say any of the other teammates aren't doing their due diligence, but definitely the striker is Game Night, always getting these key goals when no one else is looking. We I mean, look at that Game Night already going on the offense, coming up the left side of the field, trying to go for an absolutely blitz. That goal can't quite break through, though. The Saints going to retain control for the last minute. Yeah, I mean, Saints just need to hold on to their lead, and they know that, but I think we might see them push for another goal just because they can. There's going to be an opportunity for them. Won't be able to find it, but they are back on defense, which is the main thing they need to focus on at the moment. Harrisburg has 30 seconds to try and come back into this one. There was a nice pass of, uh, to, from Fatal to himself, but couldn't find the finish. Another shot on target from Ben there, but a nice save from Harrisburg. They've definitely picked it up on the defensive side of things, but right as I say that, Shru flies in through the air. Not a single defender nearby. It's going to be Saints with their fifth as they take a 5-1 lead. <laughs> Even if all the Saints put down their controls right now, just chillax, do nothing, I still think it's going to be nigh impossible for Harrisburg to take this one back. I'm going to four point goal lead and 15 seconds to make that difference. It's not going to happen. And now the Saints most likely heading in to their series point. It's going to well, that one's just that one's just a flex. They just put in one more towards the end because why not? They could and they did so. 6-1 lead in the game for the Saints. And as you said, they will be taking the lead in the series 2-0. Looking to close it out swiftly. But Harrisburg, I mean, they've shown they can kind of compete with the Saints here. Game 1 was extremely close. As soon as the ball touches down, it's going to be the Saints taking the 2 Oh, a lead, and now it's going to be the Saints on match point. <laughs> Our players get are mugged. We did get mugged. They're feeling very, very confident about themselves, and they should be doing so <laughs> after, a nice, after a nice win. Yeah, I can't let that one go unpunished, but they're not going to let that last game go unpunished. No, they had a very competitive game thereafter. They said they're going to completely sweep them. It did not quite happen, but now we're starting to see that come into fruition. Maybe that last first game was a bit of a warm-up, but now going into this third and final game, Harrisburg really wants to try and recapture some of the magic they had in that game one. Yeah, I mean, game one, they just capitalized beautifully off of the Saints' mistakes. A couple goals just coming from their own half, which shouldn't really happen at this level of Rocket League. And I think once Saints realize that, hey, if we just stop making these silly mistakes and kind of focus up, we are definitely the better team and we can win the game. And they stood strong, came back from 3-0. And then I think after that, Harrisburg just kind of fell apart. I mean, understandably so. Had such a big lead to getting smashed 6-1 in the second game. I think the Saints might really tally it up in this last match. I think I'm going to have to agree with you right there. But let's see it. Enough speculation. Let's get into this third game, potentially, and most likely final game, if the Saints prediction A battle correct. bus on true side. We are oh seeing not the 18-wheeler, but there is a six wheels on that bad boy. So that's going to be <laughs> interesting to see from the Saints. More. <laughs> One third of the way there. Every time I see it, I mean, it's just, I get a good laugh in. Fatal now. Gonna look for an attack all by himself. There's gonna be Ben getting it off the crossbar, and the follow up is there. Bar down. Nobody's there for the follow. -up. There's True going a bit too high there. Isn't able to put that one in, but Ben still has in a dangerous position, and that's gonna be an easy walk in goal. A Saints take a quick lead. Easy goal for the Saints. Getting victory royale on the battle bus to start things off. But now it's up to Harrisburg to try and turn this one around. Maybe get a bit of a third party going. Unless we're here in Rocket League. Not Fortnite. That's not going to be possible here. But what is going to be possible is starting off the kickoff very aggressively here, sending all three to the front and triple commit. And that's what you got to see. You got to start changing up these tactics if you want to try and get the edge over on the Saints. 
Yeah, the ball is going to be cleared out into Harrisburg's side. Game Knight is there for the clearance, but Fatal isn't going to let that one go untouched. Finds the 50 there. Ben goes for the 50, doesn't win out on that one. But Fatal gets it right back. That's a weak shot on target, but True flying out of nowhere. Couple misses on the ball there from both players. Leads to a clearance from Futuristic. But here is Ben flying through the air. Game Knight yet again finding a big, big save for Harrisburg. But Saints are just putting on all of the pressure. True, though, doesn't get the best hit there. Nice demo there from Ben onto Futuristic. Will give Saints some more time to work with here. As Harrisburg need a goal to get back to this game. They need a goal and they need one quick. Mitzi looking to be the one to do that, but you have to go back on the defense as the Saints are going wild here. Huge demo from Mincy that's going to stop the offense here. It's heading toward that goal. Fatal going to have to go on the defense once again, making a blitz over with Ben. True on the battle bus, going for a bit of a crazy air carry, but it finally gets blocked out by Mincy. And Harrisburg showing a lot more fight in this third game, only allowing the one goal early to the Saints. And been playing pretty good defense if I had to say so myself but haven't got too much going on the offensive side of things here it's gonna be fatal looking for the clearance gives it over to true true's gonna let that one drop fatal still flying through the air there looks for the pass but no teammates are nearby Ben and true gonna be here on the defense fatal finds the demo Ben now can be able to take that one up but a nice contest there Harrisburg almost get a shot on target but Two and a half minutes gone. I don't know if they had won the entire game. They have, but I don't know. The Saints have a lot of aggression left in them. Ben going for a bit of a crazy axle break breaker goal there. True going to be flying in, keeping up the aggression, just keeping the shots on that goal, keeping the pressure over on the other side. we got to keep that defense up, and they have it. Ben, the beautiful save, futuristic, going for a bit of a crazy wall ride there. But nevertheless, the Saints trying to cook something up here. They want to secure a goal lead higher than just one, especially after that last game. We got six, but Harrisburg not letting it happen. <laughs> but this ball is moving at a very high pace. Finally, it's going to be slowed down. But there is Ben putting it into the corner. True is there. Can he find the pass over to Fatal? He does, but a nice save from Mincy. Nice team play there from the Saints, but good defense from Harrisburg to maintain this this advantage. Only down one goal. I mean, one mistake here from the Saints and Harrisburg are back in this game, but Fatal might have just caught Harrisburg on a fatal mistake, and that's going to be an easy goal for him. I mean, Harrisburg tried going for a play, but just completely whiff on the ball, and that's going to be Saints picking up their second and doubling their lead. Yeah, game night. No, no one else could catch up to that ball. You got to give props to Fatal for just seeing the line right there and following it all the way to the enemy goal. Now Harrisburg JV needs to try and make something up here. As oh no, it looks like they're still in shock from that last goal. It's just not going their way. True finds a goal on the battle bus. I mean, there's just nobody defending for Harrisburg. They go for these 50s, assuming they're gonna win every single one, and that is just not the case against the Saints here. They have expanded their lead to three goals, as now this should be all she wrote. Fatal making a nice save there for the Saints to keep their clean sheet alive here. Harrisburg still going to be pushing for these goals, but Fatal with an aerial play gets it over to True. Nice 50 there from Harrisburg, though, not allowing the Saints to continue that push. And now it's going to be put in a dangerous position. True will be there with the save. Now game night is going to look for a solo attack, but puts it into the corner. And that's an easy defense from the Saints, as they only need one more minute to close out the series minute for the series and now Jared Harrisburg JV a lot of ground to cover here three goals it's not looking likely but I've seen crazier things happen if JV can try and turn this one around it's not gonna go their way four goals in 40 seconds that's that's nearly unheard of I mean a nice a goal here again from the Saints true on that battle bus puts it in the top corner and it's just the Saints running away with this one. Harrisburg have got completely no answer to the Saints attack and there's gonna be true picking up another one off kickoff. I mean Harrisburg have completely fallen apart in these last few minutes of Saints as Saints continue to attack on goals. Yeah, they're continuing to just layer on the goals here. They're not letting up off the gas. They wanna keep as much momentum as they can going into this next series. And I mean, I don't blame them. I'd be a little bit nervous too going up against one that is also four and one, but after this, 
it's looking like they may both be five and one. We shall see at the end of this match. 25 seconds remain. Saints in a very firm lead. Harrisburg not looking very good. Not looking good, and as the clock winds down, Saints looking to pick up a one more. But True is playing pretty defensively, knowing they do not need this goal that badly. And I think it might just be the clock running out here. Saints still pushing for that final goal, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to find it. As soon as this ball touches down, that will be the game. It's going to be your Saints winning the series 3-0. Relatively easy. They're looking for a final goal here, but there it is. The ball touches down. Saint Clair, Saint Academy, take it three to zero and move to five and one on the season. Yeah, three and zero. Oh, looks like their guess was correct. Getting mogged once again. We shall see if they're still mogging going into the next series. I mean, you do need the confidence. You need do need that momentum, and they have everything they need set up for them going into this next series. But cannot get overconfident here. I think they're at the right level of confidence right now. But you don't want that to bubble over. Yeah, I mean, they're feeling good, but as you said, their toughest challenge awaits them probably in about probably 20, 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. So they'll have a bit of time to rest, maybe uh, should play a little bit to stay warm. <laughs> they did, they were playing very well towards the end of that series. And I think that's something they're gonna need if they wanna move to six to one on the season. Exactly, but with all that being said, our next opponent is going to be West Virginia University, the Lotus team, four and one currently. Most likely gonna be five and one if their track record keeps up. So it should be a battle of even teams across the board, and it should be one heck of a game. With all that being said, we're gonna throw it over to a very quick break and be right back with the next series. <laughs> 